Warning, sensitive viewers are warned, especially you who do not like beards. I told you so. Welcome to this episode of Let's Zoom It, where we will take a look at uh, some beard. We will use totally three different uh, microscopes, and we will start with this one you see on the screen. It is a USB microscope that uh, has a zoom range from 50 times to 1000 times according to the specifications. So I will just quickly show you about how it look when holding this microscope against your skin or in this case my beard. Um, we go directly to the maximum zoom uh, we can see that the beard has, uh, my beard ha at least, has different colors. Some are white, some are light brown, some dark brown, and some straw are almost black. Look like a glass almost. Or wood. So it is time to take a closer look at the shaved beard and we will start with the video microscope to the right. Uh, I will start now by zooming in step by step and I will take you through this quite uh, quite quick. You can see so we're getting closer and closer. Almost at the maximum zoom now. So here we are at maximum zoom with the video microscope. It has about 120 times of uh, zoom factor. And we can see that the beard has quite uh, see-through. It is quite see-through. Don't know what that is. So I will just uh, pick out uh, one of each color. I think one start with one white or look like the glass. Um, hard to get. Then we take a light brown. And here is a black one or maybe dark brown. I don't remember. Take one of the other one also. Then here we have um, four pieces ready for next step, the real microscope, the Swift 380T. And here we start at the four times ocular. The two dark one, the dark one, dark brown, and the black one to the right here. This one we will not take a so close look at but we will take a closer look at these two because we can see through it a little. Here we change to the 10 times ocular and we see pretty much detail directly. Here is the light brown one and um, change to the 40 times ocular. As you can see here the depth of field is very short or how I explain it. So when we zoom in something so much or have a close look like this it's impossible to get the whole object sharp. Uh, so I will cut out the part uh, where I focus from top to bottom 
and this will give me a video of a few seconds. I will then extract all the frames from that video and stack them in a program called Helicon Focus 7. I will show you shortly here. This is the piece of video that we get when we cut out it, about 4 seconds. I will then use this program uh, called the Free Video to JPEG Converter. I choose to extract all, every frames, so I get a lot of frames like this. And next step is to use the Helicon Focus 7 to stack the images. And so I start opening all the pictures that I extract from the video. Uh, I choose the, this setting, say pyramid something. Uh, because it explained that it's uh, for deep stacking and I think I have quite a lot of pictures, images so I hope this one is the best one if you have some tips just comment here we can see the program working it look up the sharpest point in all the images and combine them to one sharp image in the end hopefully yeah, here we got one. Uh, this is the one of the old, the one of the pictures that then become one. So I will save the picture, and here is the result. This is a, an exported TIFF image that I um, choose to just quick edit in uh, GIMP. I just use the clone stamp to remove the ring of vignette around it and uh, also add a little more color. I um, sh um, changed the levels a little to make it brighter and in the end I just used the unsharp mask. So that was this piece of hair. We will take a quick look at the white hair also because it has quite nice structure I think inside it. So uh, just focusing slowly through the whole depth of field. Then cut out the focusing piece of the video. I use the program Filmora 9. And here is the little piece that we cut out. About four seconds this time also. Then repeat the process in um, Helicon Focus seven and here we got from the blurry parts with only a little sharpness until the big final picture that is uh, sharp right through here is the tiff image and i uh, quick edit it in uh, in gimp this one also uh, and the same settings here i just uh, used the clone stamp to remove the vignette then uh, change the levels a little to make it brighter and uh, add a little color and in the end use the unsharp mask to get a little more focused details. Thank you so much for watching this episode and uh, I would uh, love to hear some comments if you have something that you want me to uh, take a closer look uh, at in the microscope in the future. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching.